Yo yo what's good YouTube this is Zengo and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a footer menu for your WordPress theme. So let me just show you that it's already been added before. Here it is. We added the navbar and this is well, this was the footer. I added uh, it already. But let me show you what I did alright. So first off I changed the top nav name into navs. So just change it in the navs. And then I added the footer menu over here into the register nav menus function, which is called register ango top nav. So we're just going to change this name to register navs, register ango navs, and register ango navs. And then we're going to add the ango bot footer. You could name it whatever you want. And then and go bottom menu. So yeah. Right now it's registered. Let me just show you that. Alright, let me just refresh. Alright, let me just yeah, here it is the angle bottom menu. And we already, let me just delete this one. And go into, if I remove the footer.php code right now, there's not going to be anything right now. But if I bring back this code, refresh that, see? And right now there's not anything in the bottom menu, so let's just create the menu. So over here, just going to create a new menu and I angle bottom menu create a menu let's make it footer menu and then add like a page and a post and let's make it a google.com whatever just make sure that this is all working so yeah add the post as well and add the page just make sure everything is working so I'll refresh that. All right. So the sample page is working. Where? Why is not everything else showing? Refresh that. All right. The theme location. Everything is registered. Cool nav. PHP. All right. Something is wrong. Just one second. And go bottom menu and it register and go navs. All right, let me just remove the code from the footer. First that. All right, so not everything is showing. The pages is only showing. I don't know why the post is not showing. Everything else is not showing. But let me just try to add that again. Maybe I didn't save it. Google.com. Add to menu. Save the menu. Yeah, probably I didn't save it. So yeah, it's just showing the page for now. And that's actually all we need just for the simple block. So we're just going to uh, take it from here. And let me show you something that's not going to take that much time. We're going to go to Bootstrap 5 examples. Go to the latest Bootstrap. Let's go, yeah, and then examples. Download examples. And as you can see here, there's a lot of template files you could use to start with because the code, there's no, uh, like, I can't get the code unless I uh, download this examples file. So we're just going to extract the zip and get the footer from there, right? Let me just extract that. All right. Go into footer, footers, yep, open with Visual Studio Code and pick whatever footer you like. Uh, this is going to be a blog, so I want it to be something like this. Alright, so let's just get that from the Visual Studio Code. Let's get the... 
Okay. We need the last one that has section, section, and section. Where is it? Where is it? I think it's this one. A container, but is it the start? Yeah, this is the start of it. Alright, so let's get this one. How about how about another section? Alright, so if we take this into the footer. I oh, just one second, I'm sorry. Just throw it after the PHP tag and then copy this. Uh remove a list item for example. Just remove all these list items and add the code over here but open up a PHP tag first and add the code over here. So if we go back to localhost first that here it is of course it's still not perfect the sections are not showing anything right now so just one second let me just <clears throat> all right let's just re get this back copy this refresh this so we actually copied another footer with it so let's just remove this yeah, that, that was, was wrong. And then go into the section, remove all of this, and just add the code over here between the list item. Open up a PHP tag, copy and paste this. Yep, fresh. Here it is. So, of course, you could add more stuff to it, uh, but for now, uh, I think this is going to be good enough for now. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And comment, like, and subscribe. And I'm going to show you how to style these in the next video. Alright, thanks so much for watching and have a nice day.